I'm Matt with K15T and we're going to look at Confluence page macros. We'll look at what they are and why they are incredibly valuable for you and your team. In a past video, I talked about Confluence page elements, which are a great way of adding visual flair to a page. But what I didn't get to talk about was a special set of elements. There's a set of Confluence elements called macros that are super powerful tools that actually expand the capabilities of your Confluence pages. So you can add extra functionality or even like display dynamic content. These things are unbelievable. Like I freak out about how cool macros are. They just save you so much time. It's like pew, pew, pew. It just does so much work for you. And then it, like, I really like macros. Um, but let's, let's talk about one. Um, uh, table of contents macro. Okay, so you can add a table of contents macro on a page. Uh, typically at the top of the page is a great place to put it. And then it will create a list of all of the headings that you added on your whole page. And people can just click those and go to those headings. With every macro, you'll see a lot more options for configuration. Elements are typically, you know, fairly simple, but macros add a whole bunch. So you'll either see a big dialog box come up in the front of your screen or over to the side. But either way, you have many many, many options to customize what the macro does, what it displays, how it looks. It's different for every macro, but the exciting thing is you have so much control over what your macro actually does. But let's talk about another one. So the attachments macro is great because we can add all these attachments to a Confluence page and not even know they're there because they're kind of tucked away in a menu. So you can add the attachments macro right on the page to get a list of all the attachments on the page and then expand each one to see the labels on the attachments all of the previous versions of that attachment. And then there's also an area where you can drag and drop new attachments to quickly add them to the page. There's also the live search macro, which is great for adding a search box on a page to search a subset of pages in Confluence. So maybe you wanna search for pages in the current space that have the event label because you want people to be able to search for active events. You can just drop this macro right onto the page and they have a really great search experience right there in context. There's the children display macro. This is really great when you have maybe a parent page in Confluence and then you have um, pages under it. When you drop pages under a parent page in Confluence, they're called child pages, children pages, childs of the page. There's a child display macro you can add on your page, so it will display a list of all of those child pages. Okay, okay, let's talk about another one. So uh, a lot of teams use Jira to manage their work. You could use the Jira issues macro to pull in a single Jira issue on a Confluence page um, and it will be dynamic. So if that Jira issue is updated, maybe a new status, that will display in Confluence. Uh, what we're looking at here is a list of Jira issues and I can control which fields show up here. This is really great if your team is working on maybe a project and you wanna see all of the issues in that project. Um, you could also just get a count you know, how many issues are left? How many, you know, how many do we still have to do? Or uh, you even can give the ability uh, for people to right there in your page, create new Jira issues into a specific project, which is really cool. Maybe your team is using a Trello board to manage your project. That's cool. There's a macro for that. You can add the Trello board macro to your page to drop an entire Trello board right onto the page and people can interact with it and move the cards around just like you would if you went to Trello, but you didn't have to go to Trello because you used a macro and you dropped it right into your Confluence page. Ooh. So you might be thinking, okay, that's great. That's great. But maybe I haven't found the macro that I need in the element browser. Where could I find more? that might meet my specific need. For that, you can go to the Atlassian Marketplace. The Marketplace is full of paid and free apps that either have one macro or sometimes many macros that are meant to meet a specific use case. You can install that app and that macro is dropped right into the macro browser and you can use it right on your Confluence pages. So if you are not finding the macro you need, the macro you need exists on the Marketplace. So definitely check that out. So yeah, Confluence page macros are an incredibly powerful tool that enable you to do things that you would never be able to do otherwise. Also quickly, you might be part of the 92% of people who haven't clicked that subscribe button. I would recommend it. We will continue to deliver valuable video content and I would hate for you to miss that. So maybe give it a little click. And this is just Confluence macros. There is so much more you can do with Confluence. So jump into another video in this course as we continue to explore how to use the Confluence editor to share what you do best.